Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about policies in Azure APIM. In this session, we will understand what is policy in Azure APIM management and how to use those policy in Azure API management. What is APIM policies? In Azure API management, policies are very powerful capability of system that allow the publisher to change the behavior of api through configuration so policies are collection of statements that are executed sequentially on the request or response of the api popular statements include format conversion from xml to json and call rate limit to restrict the amount of incoming calls from a developer or from a source system there are many more policies are available out of the box that we will explore in this session policies are applied inside the gateway which sits between the api consumer and the managed api the gateway receives all requests and usually forwards them unaltered to the underlying api however a policy can apply change to both the inbound request and outbound response the policy is a simple xml document that describes a sequence of inbound and outbound statements and the xml can be edited directly in the definition window the configuration is divided into four parts inbound backend outbound and on error if there is an error during the processing of request any remaining steps in the inbound backend or outbound sections are skipped and execution jump to the statement in the on error section by placing policy statement in the on error section we can review the error by using the context dot last error property inspect and customize the error response using the set body policy there are error codes for built-in state and for errors that may occur during the processing of policy state we will learn more about this topic in our later session where we will understand how to do error handling in api management policies now connect to azure portal and let's see what are the options we have in the policies in the last video we learned about how to host our first api in apim we have also learned about how to add the products or what are the subscription we have in apim now let's understand about the policies so policies we can implement either we can implement on product so we can go to the product and on that product we can also implement the policies so here we can add the policies as per our requirement the second place where we can add the policy we can go to the api and we can add the policies on all api level so it will be applicable for all the apis or we can add the policies on individual api or we can add the policies on the operations so we'll go through and we can app apply the policy so we can add the policies we can click on the policy code editor and we can add the policy here based on our requirement we can add in an inbound or backend or outbound or on error another way we can just click on show snippets and we can choose the our policies whichever policy in built policy we have to add we can choose it from here another way we can go here and we can click on we can go here and we can click on add policy and here also we can choose the policies if you are unable to find the policies here you can just click on the other policies and it will again go to the policy editor window and here again you have to choose you have to select these show snippets and here you can select your policies now let's understand what are the policy is available in apim so let's discard it and here and here now we will go based on the operations so let's click on the post operation post http trigger operation and if you click on the policy code editor so if you can see we have already added our limit by key policy we have already added here after clicking on the source snippet if you can see we have a multiple policies are available we have authentication policy we have caching policy we have access restriction policy we have advanced policies we have cross stop we have cross domain policies we have transformation policies and other policies validation policies are also available as a reference you can check this 
Microsoft Doc page where they have explained the management authentication policies. Let's understand authentication policy. Using this authentication policy, we can authenticate the backend services using our defined authentication. So here, if you can see, we have three types of authentication. Either we can use authenticate with basic, we can use authenticate with client certificate, or we can also authenticate with managed identity. So let's understand it, how you can add this policy. So once you click on that, if you can see, this has been added here. Just pass the username and password. So I'll pass the user one and I'll pass the password. Password at the rate one, two, three. Let's try to save it. If you can see, it was not saved and it throw the error one or more field contains incorrect values so now if you go to the microsoft document and let's see let's understand where we have to pass where we have to place that file so if you can see the uses this policy can be used in the following policy section and scope it should be go inside inbound and policy scope will be all scope so let's move this code let's move this piece of code to the correct section here okay now let's try to save it perfect so this time if you can see this is this has been successfully saved and policies available here in a similar way if you want to add another policy authenticate with client certificate we can just add it it will appear here so we have to place that code from here to here all right then we have a third third authentication policy is authenticate with managed identity so how we can use that let's delete these two let's save it and we'll understand how to use the authenticate with managed identity so to use that we have to go here in our security section and here we'll click on the managed identity here we just enable it and click on save Now we'll go to the our function, the function that we have created and here we'll click on the authentication, select the app services and here just go and click on login with Azure Active Directory. Click on save and before that we will just click on the Azure Active Directory and we will choose here the express and if you can see our API is listed here now let's click on ok and so after saving this we'll go back again to our Azure API management and we'll try to test our API so let's go and select our function app that we have just created I'll select the operation post click on test and let's hit send if you can see here now we are getting 401 unauthorized okay because we have added the azure active directory authentication okay so how, how to resolve that so let's go to the design post so i'll add to all operations go here and click on this okay so let's copy this code we'll go to the policies click on that and here let's add this policy okay so here we have to pause the our function app 
url so i'll go back again to the function app okay let's copy the function app and paste it here click on save now let's go to the test and we'll try to hit the send button and this time if you can see we have to save this 200 okay this mouse okay okay so let's get go back to the design and let's remove this policy from here click on save let's understand another policies now let's move to the access restriction policies now let's move to the caching policies so let's go here let's add the policy and we'll choose here case response okay so let's put the duration 60 and let's click on save go to the policy and if you can see after adding that policies it appeared here in out mode let's go to the test and we'll see click on send we'll go to the traces and we'll search the case if you can see here we have it is showing request has non cacheable HTTPS method let's go back here so we will just delete click save okay so now it's saved properly now again we'll go to the test select our operation and hit on send button so if you can see we have to see 200 we'll go to the trace and we'll search case so this time if you can see we don't have any case information available accordingly there are different types of policies are available that we can explore okay and we can use that one so I'll add the link of all the policies and we can explore that that policies in our APIM. So that's it about this session. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned about policies in Azure APIM management and how to use it in APIM. If you have any query or any suggestion, please feel free to contact me. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Have a great day.